Welcome to the RJI Futures Lab, where we help you make your organization more innovative. I'm Ruben Stern. This week, a tool that reassembles a person's fragmented digital footprint and an easier way to track how people behave on individual web pages. Reporting a story often involves combing through multiple social networks to learn about a person being interviewed or covered. A browser plugin called 360 Social offers a way to view someone's scattered online identities all in one place. 360 Social is a provider of social data. So what we do is we show someone's social footprint online in a neatly structured sidebar right into your browser. There's an icon in your screen. And whenever you hover with your mouse over a social link or an email or somebody's uh, profile uh, in your screen, there will appear a sidebar and that will show everything from the people that you are looking for. So any website, any social profile, any social network that somebody is active on, it will be gathered into a very simple sidebar showing all the information that you are looking for. It's your picture, it's your location, your profession, the title that you use on, the, on LinkedIn and any social network that you're active on or any website that you own or use that will show up in the sidebar. So we cover more than at this point uh, 250 social networks so everything uh, that's in there we can show in the sidebar and you can expand any link you can go directly to that specific network if you like and you can always come back to the sidebar. I think what's uh, setting us apart from uh, the competition, so to say, is that uh, all the information that we show is 100% verified. So we have this software that really checks if the person that you are looking for is the, the right person. That's the trick of the trade, of course, and uh, that's why it took us quite long to develop the software. But the search engine that we developed uh, uses uh, yeah, many points of entry. So what we do is we use photo recognition and we combine uh, email address and uh, mobile phone number. So any combination that we can find uh, that we can use to really verify that the, the, the link that we find is the correct one. Uh, so we can use that in order to check whether this is the right person. And if we don't know that 100% sure, we won't show the information. 360 Social is currently free, but only available for Google Chrome. The company plans to expand soon to other major web browsers. There are plenty of ways to measure website traffic numbers, but a startup called Trialfire is trying to make it easier to track specific behaviors on individual web pages within a site. We spoke with the founders to learn how it works. Trifar is really the easiest way to track behaviors on a website or in a web application and then use that data that you collect in your analytics tools like Google Analytics or in marketing tools like Marketo. Removing the complexity around having to write code to collect that data from your website or your web application. At the core of it, it's tracking clicks, so any kind of interaction with the page, clicking on menus, expanding menus, things like expanding tabs. Go to the website, sign up, they take one line of code basically, and they drop it into their page. And that's usually a um, 20 second thing to do. It's a cut and paste, there's no custom code. The idea is you launch your website in trial fire, in what we call trial fire, it's pin mode, and you just click on the things that you want to track. You don't, you don't have to write any code, you don't have to integrate anything, you don't need a developer. Uh, you simply click on the things you want to track, and those could be buttons or links, form elements, etc and we then handle all the other parts which is track when your visitor comes to your site and send it off to those connected services so if I'm on your website and and I'm gonna go visit your Facebook site right now there's no page there's no page that you're going to but the action of going there is something you can track traditionally you'd have to write code to do that with us you click on that Facebook link and it'll allow you to track somebody going to your site and then jumping off to Facebook or to Twitter or, or, or something else. Every different element on your site has a sort of fingerprint. It's a little bit about that fingerprint is where it is, what page it's on, how high up is it, where it exists in the context of your overall HTML. A match means that you've clicked on something that you've pinned and we send that data to wherever you've connected TrialFire. When you look at the tool and you use the tool, it's, it's, it's interesting and it's, it solves a problem and makes something that's really, really complicated very simple. Right now we're focused on capturing click behavior, but people do a lot more than just click on a website. You're doing things like scrolling, you're hovering, your, your mouse is sort of hovering, 
people tend to move their mouths based on where they're looking and where they're reading. And that would be great to capture that information. Um, to know when someone scrolled below the fold of a web page, that's also very useful. So we're moving in that direction, sort of more sophisticated behavioral tracking. Trial Fire's pricing involves a monthly fee based on the number of website visitors. The lowest level is free. And that's it for this report from the RJI Futures Lab. I'm Ruben Stern. We'll see you in the future.